<laughs> okay, it's time to find our way through our final off the record parting shots. Michael Miller, you're first. In 1965, I lived in New York City and they had a wonderful primary for mayor between Bill Buckley and John Lindsay and a few Democrats out there and people from the Naked Party and the Vegetarian Party. <laughs> hey, it was great. It was the best thing I'd ever seen. But I think the Democrat uh, primary coming up here in the, in the months to come is going to be fantastic. There won't be 20 people in it, but there'll be enough that I don't think I'm ever going to miss a televised <laughs> edition. Um, it's going to be fun. I totally agree. Sam Gresham? Looming in the background is something that's very profound and important. It's going to change the whole political process in Ohio. And I can't look forward to that day. I, I, I spent 12 years of my life working on it. And that's Congressional and General Assembly uh, redistricting. It is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. This is 19, 20, 21. It will go. All this that we're doing now will change. And I look forward to it. Joe Ingalls. Well, we're, we've got this big federal report that's about to come out, and it's supposed to tell us of all about these things that they've been looking into with President Trump as to whether he's been colluding with the Russians and all these different things. I am going to predict that once that report comes out, that the people who are in the Trump camp now are going to be in the Trump camp then, and the people who are not in the Trump camp now will not be in the Trump camp anymore, and that it will do precious little to uh, do anything, actually. Change, no change. Yeah. Jesse Balmer. <laughs> uh, I guess I'd encourage everybody to check out a year-long Cincinnati Enquirer investigation into sex trafficking in Portsmouth and Southern Ohio centers around a local attorney and just kind of some of the local corruption in that area. It's just a fascinating read. All right. I am just going to predict that everything will get back to normal when Mike Thompson comes back to the show. <laughs> But it's been a privilege and a pleasure to uh, sub for for the last couple of weeks.